guys so this is going to be my fall slash winter tutorial which I've been loving all of fall and then the start of winter I've just been loving this look and yeah it's just a little bit bold but neutral all at the same time and I've just been loving it um, my foundation is not shown in this video I have a separate video uh, my foundation routine which I can list down below my hair is still wet um, from a shower, but I really wanted to film this video and I needed to get ready. So I decided I would show you guys um, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's just get into it So the first thing we're going to use is the NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder. It just looks like this Just looks like that. Yeah, so I really like this because I am super duper pale and This is light enough for me and I believe that you could like build it up and make it dark enough for you. Um, but I'm going to use the e.l.f. complexion brush and just get some in here. Put it all over my face just to give it just a little bit of color and then we will move on from there. The next thing that I'll sometimes do if I want my makeup to stay on a long time is the is put a cream blush and we're going to use the Revlon cream blush in rosy glow just looks like this and, and just natural rosy color and show you what it looks like just looks like that um so yes if i want to look more rosy i just put it on my cheeks and then we will blend it out this is a darker darker blush then it works really well with the bronzer um I'm just gonna put it in there the, the blush I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Tickled Pink Blush. It just looks like this. It looks very similar to the cream blush I just put on, which I really enjoy doing, um, just so that it doesn't clash. We're going to do my favorite thing next, which is eyes. Now, today I don't use an eyeshadow primer, but today I'm going to, and we're going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Just... Put it like this and then use my fingers. I like using my fingers for a lot of the makeup I do. Because um, I feel like it works better and you can blend it in better. So I just have that primer potion. And then we're going to put on a cream eyeshadow. And this is by e.l.f. and this is in Sugar Cookie. I'm I've been using this a lot recently, as you can tell. We're just going to use the pink side. And again, I just use my finger. It just looks like this. It gives it a little bit of a pink tint, but not too much. Next thing we're going to do is the eyeshadow. And we're going to use the Expert Wear Eyeshadow by Maybelline. And this was in my favorites. A lot of these, some of these things were in my favorites. And just looks like this. Um, this is in Mocha Motion. And I got it a long time ago. The top's broken off. Um, but I really like this a lot. So we're just going to use this... Um, eyeshadow brush which I don't know where I got it I feel like I just got it in like a really cheap set but I really like the size of it um, and it works really well so we're just going to take this light brown color right here and put it all over my eye just take a little bit of Stila Kitten um, just to give it a little bit of shine. If I do use the other side of this e.l.f. cookie um, with this, because it's the gold side, which is a lot more shimmery um, with sparkles, then I don't put in like another shimmery eyeshadow. But since I didn't use that, we're going to use Stila's Kin. And I'm just going to put just a tad on my lid, not very much at all. Which kind of blended in this light brown color. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it on my outside corner and kind of again just blend it in just very lightly um, just to give it a little bit of dimension but not go crazy. Um, the next one is this dark color up here. Looks like that. 
And I am going to take this and an angled brush. I've been using pretty much the same brush. I wash it every day, but um, for all those eyeshadows, because it helps it blend like a very angled brush. And put it just a little bit in the crease, just to darken it a little bit. We're going to take that last white color, which I love this color for a highlight. The finished eye look looks like eyeshadow wise and then I don't normally put eyeliner up at the top I do put it down below which I'm going to put the Palladino blue eyeliner which I've been really liking um, it just looks like this and then the swatch just looks like that I really like it um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to make it not look so harsh I do blend it in um, and this is an optional. Some days I don't do this, some days I do. Um, I feel like it gives me a little bit more color. Um, just a pop of color, which I really like. So it just looks like that. And it kind of blends it with my eyes, but makes my eyes look a little bit bigger than they are. Um, so yes. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on mascara. Uh, I probably won't be able to show you this because I'll have to get close to the mirror. So I did put uh, mascara on. I first used the e.l.f. I think this is just the $1 mascara. And I really like it. I feel like it lengthens my eyelashes a lot. And you can see them. Um, and I really like this. I use it at the top and the bottom. And then I put the L'Oreal Infallible Mascara with col Collagen Infused Mineral Mascara on, on top of that. And I just really just... Um, thickens up your eyelashes or yeah your eyelashes and I really like that um, so for the final thing what I normally do for school is I on the EOS lip balm as I go and then when I'm about to leave I put in color stational lip stain on so it just looks like this um, just this color and I just stick it on my lips this just gives it a little bit of color and it stays on for a long time um, obviously not this bright, but it does stay on. Like if I put lip gloss on, I feel like it helps it stay on a lot better. And the lip gloss I'm going to use is the Wet Slicks Amazement, which I talked about in my October favorites. And I think I mentioned it in my November favorites as well. And this is the color is Unwind. So I just put a little bit of this on. As you can tell, it is still bright, but I love it. Um, I've been really liking it because it's very glossy and because it is a lip gloss, but it stays on for quite a while, especially since I put the lip stain um, underneath it. I really enjoy this, and this has kind of been my everyday fall look. Um, sometimes I don't have as bright of lips on, and sometimes I, sometimes I don't have the blue eyeliner on. Um, just depends on the day.